And there's our first view of the uh, Soyuz MS-23 under the chutes. Six minutes until touchdown. This video is courtesy of Roscosmos. Soyuz descending at its uh, normal rate of descent. Search and recovery forces are reporting back that everything is looking good from their perspective. There were some rain showers in the area earlier today. The Soyuz descending under a deck, several decks of broken clouds toward its touchdown point about 90 miles to the southeast of Jezka's gun. Again, this video courtesy of Roscosmos from the landing site. Inaudible. Less than uh, five minutes to go until touchdown. The extended uh, mission of Frank Rubio, Sergei Prokopiev, and Dmitry Patelin is now in the home stretch. Once again, uh, you're looking at uh, the return of Frank Rubio, Sergei Prokopiev, and Dmitry Patelin after more than a year in space, less than four minutes from touchdown on the desolate steppe of Kazakhstan. The uh, parachutes uh, deployed as planned at 6.03 a.m. Central Time. Three minutes later, the Soyuz heat shield was jettisoned. Confirm. The next uh, event will be just a second or two before touchdown. That will be the firing of the soft landing engine. Six engines fire to slow the Soyuz descent rate to just 1.5 meters per second. How do you read it? We observe you. We have a visual. How do you read us here? Four nine Search and recovery forces uh, communicating directly now with Sergei Prokopiev, saying that they have a good visual on the spacecraft. Just uh, over two minutes until touchdown. It has been 1,000 meters. We are not able to connect with them in audio yet. We can hear them. They are not hear us yet. It has been. 1,000 meters. We hear them. They are not less than a thousand meters from touchdown. So we are looking for the 20th and 52nd minute. Uh, plus nine atmospheric bias. Plus 18 index point one. The crew is feeling well. Sergei Prokopiev uh, continuing to provide uh, reports back uh, to the search and recovery forces, indicating that the crew is doing well. 
just over a minute until touchdown. The crew is doing well. Let them know. Cosmos 95409. For your information, the object has passed 500 meters and feeling well. 619 is out. Search and recovery helicopters are uh, circling uh, the landing zone. We might uh, see one of those helicopters uh, come into view shortly as uh, the Soyuz is less than 500 meters off the ground. We have come with the crew and they're feeling well. Prepare 100 meters to ground. 100 meters to go, the crew being told to brace for touchdown. Object getting close to touchdown. Object touchdown. Touchdown confirmed at 6.17 a.m. Central Time. Rubio's record ride comes to an end as he, Prokopiev, and Patelin return to Earth after a 371-day, 157-million-mile journey at the International Space Station. In work. The third longest flight ever in human spaceflight history is over with a pinpoint landing on the steppe of Kazakhstan. Okay. Search and recovery here. How do you read? Okay, all good. Once again, uh, Soyuz MS-23 has landed on the steppe of Kazakhstan. A bullseye touchdown for the uh, three crew members, Frank Rubio, Sergei Prokopiev, and Dmitry Patelin. 409, how do you read? Landing occurring as planned at 6.17 a.m. Central Time, 7.17 a.m. Eastern Time, 5.17 p.m. at the landing site that you're seeing right now in our live view, about an hour and 53 minutes before sunset. The uh, Russian Mi-8 helicopters are now descending in uh, sequential fashion to uh, arrive uh, in the vicinity of uh, the spacecraft. You can see one of those helicopters in view. The uh, all-terrain vehicles will be uh, moving toward uh, the spacecraft as well, repositioning themselves to enable us uh, to get video of the uh, recovery process, the extraction of the crew, and uh, the crew will be placed in reclining chairs next to the uh, Soyuz MS-23 for a few minutes uh, to regain uh, their equilibrium before they're carried in those chairs to a nearby inflatable medical tent where they will uh, doff their Soka launch and entry suits, get into more comfortable flight clothing, and uh, then make their way with uh, the assistance of uh, recovery personnel to three helicopters, one for each crew member, for a two-hour flight back to the staging city of Karaganda.